I'm Stuart Ryan and welcome to episode 6 of Master the 251, the last episode in the series. If you're new to this, don't forget to check out episodes 1 to 5 for loads of ideas about how to solo over 251s. And if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and the bell icon so I can keep in touch with you for when the next videos are ready. This week we're going to be taking a look at everything from scale-based ideas to a Django Reinhardt inspired lick. Here's the first lick for you. Scale-based ideas are a very traditional and effective way of playing over a 2-5-1. Typically people will be thinking about playing a Dorian mode or similar over the 2 chord, and then if they're staying inside they'll play a Mixolydian mode over the 5 chord, and then on some major for the 1 chord. But check out this lick where I play some passing tones over the D7 chord to make things sound a little bit less scalic and a bit less predictable. Lick number two, it's all about the superimpositions here. These are a great way of getting color, tension and release without much effort. Over the two chord, the A minor, I play a B minor seven arpeggio. That gives me the upper extensions of the A minor chord. B is the ninth, D is the 11th, F sharp is the 13th. Over the five chord, D seven, I'm playing an F sharp diminished 7 arpeggio here. This gives me a D7 flat 9 sound, but really thinking about the diminished is a faster way of getting to that. And you can use that same idea, that diminished 7th lick, up in minor thirds. Try that over the 5 chord. Finally, the 1 chord, even adding a bit of tension here as well, with some chromatic passing tones in between the chord tones to get that really authentic sound. Thank you. 
Lick number four, this one's really inspired by the great Django Reinhardt. Really, it's about taking scale ideas, but using chromatic passing tones in between chord tones to make everything richer, and then moving it symmetrically up the fingerboard so the lick has a lot of shape and a lot of kind of consistency to it. Django was a master at doing this, and it's great to use a wide range of the fingerboard so you get all that tonal color. Here it is, medium speed and then slow speed. Thanks for watching this series, everybody. I really hope that's helped you come to grips with the 251. I hope it's helped you to develop your own ideas as well. Let me know how you're getting on in the comments section below. I'd love to see any videos and licks that you come up with too. Come and visit me on my website so you can check out my guitar books and more lessons and you can continue your guitar journey. I'll be back very soon with more lessons. Until then, take care.